Welcome back to Shaving Down Under. I'm Doug. It's Friday. Man, it's late in the afternoon here, actually. I've got to get a uh, wriggle on. Got to get to the bank before they close. Put some money in there. So, if you're ever a fan of stoner movies, Cheech and Chong, or you're just an old stoner, and you're living here in Australia, and I suppose if you're an old stoner and you live in Australia, you're not shopping at Coles or Woolworths, are you? So, this was in Woolworths. And it's new. It's from Nivea. I'll just get my face out the way there. So this is a liquid shaving soap. And it's a two-in-one shaving cream and cleanser. And... This here is an aftershave balm. So these are new on the market. I haven't seen them before. So I thought, right, I'm going to grab them. And we'll try them out. See if it's much chop. I dare say there's not going to be a problem with it. It is Nivea. They're not going to release something that's a dud. Who knows? Uh, today, Slim. Thought I'd shave with old Slim Jim again. Setting on six. I've got the Aristocrat blade in there still. So it's had about three... This would be about its fourth shave. And I've got the horsehair brush as well. So I'll just get ready and prep up and we'll get into the shave. Okay, it's... um. The directions were just to put on your fingers and then massage into your face, clean your face, then repeat it again and then the second time shave. I thought I'll bowl lather, which I've done. So, you know, it's the, this brush is full of lather. And I'd go with a, a fake green apple scent. So it'd be nice if it was like a real green apple scent. But it just feels a little synthetic. But it, it's not bad. So we're using the horse hair brush. But why not? Oh, hang on a sec. Sorry about that. I had a very important phone call I had to take. So <laughs> I've been on the phone for about 20 odd minutes and I've had to wash everything off and start again. Now it's an interesting lather. A little bit while I was talking to my mate, I was just watching the lather on my face and I thought, hmm, it is a bit interesting. Let's see how it performs. So with the marijuana leaves on there, you would think it must be forming part of the ingredient. And if anything, you'd think it'd be the moisturizing side. side of it. This is on six. This feels a little bit um, mild. Yeah, so I thought I'd use the horse hair brush. Because uh, Mark from Friendship Shaving, he um, had a bit of an interesting discussion with everyone during the week with his latest video. And where he's saying he's not really fond of horsehair because of the way it reacts. And And he's correct because I've had the same thing where the centre of the horsehair after you've used it um, disappears, sinks down, gets knotted up inside the, the knot. 
and he comes to the conclusion where he thinks they might be more of a brush where you paint the lather on, you just bowl lather with it and then you paint it onto your face. It's not a brush you use to face lather. And um, I thought that was an interesting call and I, I actually do agree with him. I think that's probably how you should use a horse brush, a horse hair brush. Gotta love the slim. It's definitely my most favourite adjustable out of the Gillette range. Better than the fat boy, people. That's what I reckon. So as I said before, it's uh, just a green apple type scent. Some more lather out of it. It's not a bad lather. But it's not the best one. It, it's a, a very average lather. Very average. But it's doing the job. Yeah, so the phone call I had, my mate, I don't know, for my Australian viewers, they all know about the AFL, and uh, his lad was in the AFL draft last night, and he's a very good player. And he, he wasn't top, he's not top 20 draft-wise, but... He's in that 20 to 50 bracket. Very good player. And he didn't get picked up. And there was a couple of, and I won't mention club names, but there was two clubs that actually did make promises that they were going to pick him. If he was still there at the end of the draft, they were going to pick him. And he was still there at the end of the draft and they didn't pick him. Very disappointing. Very disappointing. So the young lad, he's 18 and he, he shattered. His dream was to play AFL football, has been for a long time. Very dedicated. Unusually dedicated. Hasn't touched any booze or drugs, which a lot of young men today, it's, they just can't, it's hard to avoid that. And everyone around him drinks and, I don't know if they do drugs, but I know they drink.
So the poor lad has just been devastated like all last night, all today, and just a short while ago, the Gold Coast Suns have thrown him a lifeline and he's getting a chance to train with them for six weeks over summer. And if they like what they'll see, they'll put him on the rookie list and he'll go on the rookie list. Don't worry about that. It was interesting what <clears throat> some of these clubs have said to the, you know, to the young fella, and he wouldn't be the only one. That it would, must happen every every season. And then on the night they don't fire through. Like, yeah, there should be more accountability that stuff. And I imagine in America, like. I know a little bit of your football over there. I don't actually understand the game too much, but I know the training when for teenage boys is intense. It actually surprised me when I had an old friend of mine in America, and he's a, he's a lad, I think at the time he was about 14 or 15, training five days a week. Amazing. Yeah, so it's interesting. So it must happen right around the world when they're recruiting young men into, you know, your main team, your adult team. And yeah, it should be a bit of accountability to some of these lads. Like if they promise them something and then don't pull through, they should man up and just say, look, son, we changed our mind. This is the reason why. We're really sorry about that. You know, he just got crickets. Crickets, you know. Thankfully, something's come through, but how many other lads, you know, in the draft last night had some sort of, you know, promise like that and it didn't eventuate and they haven't got that last moment lifeline. Just young men mentally, you know, their, their mental health, it, it'd be shocking right now. Shocking. Wow, I've churned through this shake. So I hope you enjoyed my unboxing video and the second part to my collection video. I hope you all found that interesting. A bit of eye candy and I hope some of you out there have got some of those pieces as well. The main thing is you don't have to worry about me for competition anymore because I've got them. I've spent enough. The stuff I'm after now is just just rare. Some of it's just almost non-existent or it's just too expensive. So, ah, you might have noticed, no pink flamingos.
George from uh, Billy Goat Razor. Billy Goat Brushwork, sorry, he'll be a bit disappointed. I know he had a soft spot for the pink flamingo if he's watching. Sorry about that, I have no uh, say in the changing over of the shower curtain. Totally, totally out of my pay grade. I think with most of you fellas out there, you understand. What your partner wants, your partner gets. I don't argue about the bathroom. Or the garden. Almost about nothing. So it's a good thing we had no shave video on Monday because then I had to talk about Brighton and I wasn't emotionally able to. We had we lost a game we should have at the very least drew. I think Wolves had a win. Spurs had a win. My mate, he's a Spurs. He's hardcore Spurs. Comes to the shop yesterday or the day before. Comes in. Rah, 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 rah. And I, I had a customer come out at the same time, this uh, young lady. And he goes in my office. And I had YouTube up. I was watching something. And he goes, oh, I can't say long, Doug. I just need a pack of these pills and and off he goes. Go back in my office and there's Hotspur video on the computer. Lucky you'd already left. So we've got Leeds this weekend. Stupid o'clock again, 4.30 a.m. in the morning here in South Australia. And stupid me will get up and watch it. But this is a must win. we got to win. I'm blaming the manager for our loss last week. I think he made poor substitutions. Very poor. Took people off that shouldn't have been taken off. Not very good slickness left over. It's there though, so it, it's a pass. But there's plenty of safes that got better slickness. Otherwise, I've had a good shave, people. Good shave. The old aristocrat blade, cracker, a cracker of a blade. Right, I'll just clean up. We're going for time and no worries. Okay, got the old seeing eye dogs on. It's only for the fine print. Gotta hate that. Gotta hate aging, don't you? I do. Right now, so let's go to the small print so this is the liquid shaving cream uh, talks to use or whack minimizes skin stress for comfortable and visibly healthy looking skin protects your skin from shaving irritations softens hair for efforts effortless razor glide yeah, it was pretty effortless shave, but sometimes you've got to think about, was that the blade? And I'm using a very good blade. 
Uh, foam free for easy stubble sculpting. All right, so that would explain the thin-ish lather. Uh, da, da. So Nivea cares for your skin and the planet with 100% organic hemp seed oil. Uh, bottle made of 97% recycled material, except for the pump and the label. And vegan formula. So this is a vegan or a vegan formula. It, trust me, the vegan tag gets thrown on everything these days, even lube. And you look at it and go, this is just numbers, is it? Anyway. Uh, so ingredients, aqua, uh, myristic acid, I don't know. Glycerine, that's common. Steric acid, potassium hydroxide, cannabis, uh, sativa seed oil. Uh, Tocopheryl acetate. Hydro, oh no, you're not getting that one out of me. Uh, the sodium phosphate, never heard of the sodium before in my life. Sodium phosphate, citric acid and parfum. And it's made in Germany. Right, so it's not bad. If you want, uh, if you're in the vegan type market and you're just going to be shopping at Woolworths, I think this is at Woolworths, I don't know if Coles are selling at the moment. You know, it's all right. It's not the, it's not the best, but it is all right. Rightio. So here we have the facial balm. Uh, da, 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 let's have a look on the back here. Uh, instantly soothes and hydrates stressed skin. So this is stressed skin at the moment. So I reckon fast absorbing, non-sticky and non-greasy. Well, I will like that if that's correct. Uh, apply liberally onto your face. Well, they're going to say that because they want you to use as much of this as they can so you buy another one. And for even better results, tag it up with the shaving cream. Ah, this is the same thing, hemp seed oil. Palmitate. There are different um, ingredients in that. And parfum. So let's give it the pump over the sink. Oh, come on. Oop, there she blows. And <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. You've all got filthy minds. Well, look, I'm just going to give it the one pump. All right? And let's see how far this goes. Oh, look, you only need one pump. There's heaps of this stuff goes a mile. Do you know what the scent reminds me of? It's just come to me. I've just got to. A long, long time ago, someone gave me a bottle of Fabache um, aftershave or. Cologne. I think it was a Fabache cologne. Was it that or something else? Anyway, that's exactly what it smells like. Yeah, you don't need much. Liberally, that they're just tugging it. Trust me. I'd be still trying to get it into my skin, but it has finished very dry. And I like that. No, no real scent that I can smell now. All right, so look, if you're looking for something cleaner, this will do the job. It's a moisturising aftershave balm. It's going to be fine. 
Um, if this ticks your boxes, buy it. You're not going to have any problem with it. We've seen far worse vegan soaps that I've tried where it's just bubble baths. It's, it's just glorified bubble bath on your face. There was a little bit to this when I was talking to my mate and I'm just seeing it and I'm thinking, uh, but, you know, it was just sitting there. I was doing no shaving. So, yeah, there's no problem. All right, we'll leave it at that. I hope you enjoyed that. It was a interesting shave with an interesting new product. Let me know if you can buy this product in your town, anywhere around the globe. I'd be interested to know. Or whether they're just flicking this out onto the Aussie market and we're the guinea pigs. And that does actually happen for international brands. Australians are world-renowned consumers. And if you can't sell it in Australia, you can't sell it anywhere else. Because we'll buy anything. <laughs> it's just the facts, Jack. Okay, people. Thanks for sticking around. Um, bit of a different uh, vid. Uh, to all my American friends, I hope you had a really good and, and uh, joyful Thanksgiving. If you, um, I don't know too much about Thanksgiving, to be honest with you. But I hope you had a good time. It was a day off work. Well, that's a good time. Just right there and then. Wednesday night. Woohoo! And um, I hope you have a good weekend. Okay, people. Take care. Ciao for now.